Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. To transfer information from an estimate to an invoice, the estimate status must be either accepted or pending, but not closed. It must also be saved and cannot have been fully invoiced. If using the New Layout for Estimates, customers can accept estimates in the forms you send, which changes their status. Alternatively, to manually change the status of a new layout estimate, open the estimate, and then use the drop-down towards the top of the pane that appears at the right side of the window to change its status. If you don't see this pane, then click the Manage button in the toolbar of the estimate window. When you're finished, save your changes. Alternatively, if you need to change an old layout estimate status, open the Saved Estimate. Then click the Status below the Customer drop-down to show an Estimate Status drop-down menu. Select the desired Estimate Status from the Estimate Status drop-down. Optionally, enter values into the Buy and Date fields to confirm who accepted the estimate and when. Then click outside the drop-down to close it. Then click the Save button in the toolbar to save the change if needed. Also, if you want to send progress invoices or partial invoices from an estimate, Make sure you also enable progress invoicing in your QuickBooks Online Company file and also use the old layout invoices and estimates. To enable progress invoicing if desired, click the Settings button in the QuickBooks Online toolbar. Then select the Account and Settings link under the Your Company heading in the drop-down menu to open the Account and Settings window. Then click the Sales category in the menu at the left side of the window. Then click the Progress Invoicing section to the right to activate it. Then click the Create Multiple Partial Invoices from a Single Estimate Toggle switch to set it to the On position. To continue and let QuickBooks Online create a new Progress Invoicing template and set it as your new default template, then click the Update button in the Confirmation window that appears. You can edit this progress invoicing template in the Custom Form Styles list later, or create one of your own. However, note that only the Airy New template style works with progress invoicing. When you're finished, click the Save button at the bottom of the section in the Account and Settings window if needed, and then click the Done button at the bottom of the window to close it. To invoice from a saved estimate, open the estimate. If using the new layout, then click the Convert to Invoice link in the pane that appears at the right side of the window to convert the estimate into an invoice and show it within the window. To see the linked estimate in the new invoice window, click the linked estimate link below the invoice title in this window to show the estimate number and a remove button. If you ever need to remove the estimate, you can click the remove button. After the invoice is converted, you can then send it as usual. Alternatively, if using the old layout, then instead click the Create Invoice button towards the upper right corner of the estimate window. If progress billing is not enabled, then a new invoice window opens containing all the estimate's information. You can then save and send the invoice as usual. Alternatively, if you enabled progress invoicing, a How Much Do You Want to Invoice window instead opens. Here you select how much of the estimate to invoice by selecting an option button. To invoice for the full estimate amounts, select the total of all estimate lines option. Alternatively, to invoice for a percentage of each line, select the second option button. 
then enter the percentage of each line to invoice into the first field to the right, or the total amount to bill into the second field to the right. However, you only need to enter a value into one of these two fields as the other recalculates automatically. Alternatively, to invoice for a custom amount of each line item, select the Custom Amount for Each Line Option button. After making your selection, then click the Create Invoice button in this window. The new invoice window opens and shows the line item amounts to bill from the estimate. If you selected the custom amount for each line option, then click into the Due column for each line item to bill and select either the Amount or Percent choice from the dropdown that appears. Then enter either the amount or percentage of that line item to bill into the adjacent field to the right. If needed, then make sure to select your Progress Invoice template by clicking the Customize button at the bottom of the invoice and selecting its name if you didn't set it as your default invoice template choice. You can then save and send the invoice as usual. You later repeat this process of creating progress invoices in the future to invoice for the remaining estimate amounts when needed. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.